This young lady here is a known sickler. She said she was recently diagnosed of having a vascular necrosis of the hip bone. Those are one of the complications of sickle cell. And it is very painful. She was told that she needs an urgent surgery to cure the pain that she has been experiencing. The pain is very excruciating and she will need NSAIDs and intramuscular injections to quench the pain. But right here in this healing school, as she came, she said the pain that she came in with is completely gone. She can do what she couldn't do before. She can't feel the pain anymore. She said she feels so much relief for the first time in years. Praise the Lord, church. This man shared with me that for five years, he has had complications from diabetes mellitus that made it very difficult for him to move and to even move his lower limbs. But right in this healing school, God has touched him. He can move around and do the things he couldn't do before now. Praise God. Church, this lady shared with me that for the past three years, she had had abnormal sensations all over her body that in medical parlance can be referred to as generalized dysesthesia. She had been having this abnormal sensation. Usually it will start from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, sometimes in the reverse order. That is from the sole of her feet to the crown of her head. And it's been so abnormal. At times she will be so hot that she will not be comfortable. She will not be able to sleep without having to put her both feet in cold water. It's been that severe. Right in this service, she said, while the ministration was going on, right in this healing school, those feelings are gone. She came in with those feelings of internal heat. Right here, the internal heat is gone. She feels normal. Church, not only that, she came in with severe left breast pain, with tenderness. That is when she touches it, it will be very painful. That she will not be able to touch it. She's been in and out of hospital for one ailment or the other. The left breast pain is gone. The dysesthetic feeling completely gone. Church, praise the Lord. This man is an engineer. He went to do recreational sports. He was engaged in football, contact sports. And as a result, he sustained injuries. Specifically, he had affectation of the tibia. It was a fracture of both tibia. And it was complicated. He has gone for surgery severally. It occurred two years ago. And he, in fact, because of that, he could not return to the work that he does because he went for the creation of football that was organized by the company. He has suffered and has spent a lot trying to put himself together. He has been supported by this aid for this two years period, unable to use this. He came into this meeting. God, who is the great orthopedic surgeon, has done a corrective surgery. Now he can move without this working aid. Come on. I see him. You are not giving Jesus a hand. The power of the Holy Ghost go through your body. That's the end. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Move your legs. Do what you cannot do. You'll be shocked. Do. Move them. Move them. Move them. Move them. Move them. Move them. That's the end. You'll have... Move them. That's the end. Move it. Move it. Eh? You couldn't do that before? Give me a microphone. You couldn't do that before? You couldn't? Eh? Very steep. Very steep before? Move them. Just move them. That's the end. Just go ahead. That's the end of it. Give Jesus a hand. Praise the Lord, church. This young lady shared with me that for the past seven years, she has been having ringing sensation in her ears. But while she came to the healing school, the power of God has touched her and she's completely made whole. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Church, our God of miracle is doing amazing things. This lady here, since June last year, was diagnosed of kidney issue. And she has been on weekly dialysis. You can see a central line on her neck where the dialysis is done every week. As a matter of fact, she came to church on a wheelchair. She had no strength. That is the symptom. During the ministration, the power of God surged into her. She can now stand on Eden. 
This man standing here is the minister of the gospel. He shared with me that for five years he has been having tooth pain in his left molar. He came to church with that pain. But as God's servant was ministering, he was able to clench his teeth without any pain. The pain has completely gone. People of God, two years ago, this elderly woman developed postmenopausal symptoms because during menopause, there is deficiency of some hormones in the body of the woman. So because of that deficiency, symptoms follow. So she had been having flushing. So she described it as fire all over her face, all over her body. This is due to hormonal imbalance. But God who balances hormone have acted on her situation. She says she must see they have poured water on her body and everything is normal. Hallelujah. Dear church, this lady has had low back pain for over two years. That made it difficult for her to bend. But while God's servant was ministering, the power of God touched her. All symptoms had disappeared. Hallelujah. For three years period, this man developed what we commonly know as peptic ulcer disease. That's an imbalance in the acid base um, balance, acid base balance in the gastrointestinal tract. So the acid content more than the base content and has caused injury either in the stomach or in the intestine. So for him, he said he has gone to the hospital where several investigations have been done and it was confirmed that he had an active peptic ulcer. He was hospitalized. He said during the rally, someone from the church invited him to come specifically for the healing school. From the hospital, he left and came to the healing school with that severe chest pain. Peptic ulcer pain is burning. Sometimes when you put anything into your mouth, it irritates the pain because it's just like an injury. You are pouring fuel into a burning fire. The power of the Lord has touched him. The chest symptom that he has had for this three years period is no longer there. He shared with me that he had injection abscess. He had intramuscular injection on his buttocks on the left, and thereafter he developed abscess. Abscess is post formation in a non preformed cavity. That is to say, in a cavity that was non existent, post forming around that place. And the skin over there had been firm, it had been painful when he touched it. In other words, it had been tender. He came into this healing school with the injection abscess on the left buttocks during the wave of healing in this healing school. The power of God touched his buttocks. It came as a feeling of having to go to the convenience. He rushed out of the meeting, went to the convenience, and pushed out a lot of things, a lot of things. As he came back, the injection abscess is completely gone. God is doing creative miracles here today. This lady three years ago was diagnosed with bilateral ovarian cysts that came with severe pain whenever she had the symptoms. The pain was so bad that she couldn't press her abdomen. She came to service in pain. But while the ministration was going on, the pain has gone. For the first time in three years, there is no pain. Hallelujah. There was a word of knowledge about someone who blinks uncontrollably, also known as blepharospasm in medicine. For eight years, he has had this spasm. His eyelids blink uncontrollably. But for the first time in eight years, if you can look at him, he's no longer blinking uncontrollably. He's perfected. Our sister here and her son, they've been healed of pain for two years. Our sister cannot lift her left arm because her shoulder was in pain. But right here in this service, the pain is shattered. She has been waving to God and her son had pain in the left knee. And right here in this service, he can flex the knee. There is no pain. Hallelujah. Church, there is a creative miracle here. This young man has had dysphonia. That is, he can speak but given the right sound to words, he has not been able to do that since birth. But from the best time since birth, he's pronouncing words properly. The, the difficulty he had before in pronunciation is completely gone. Hallelujah. Hello, sir. Please, can you tell us what your name is? My name is David Sunday. How do you pronounce the David before? If I want to pronounce David, I'll pronounce David. You cannot pronounce David. Now say your name. My name is David Sunday. God indeed has visited this family. Mama has been having osteoarthritis of the knee for 15 years and could not walk without support. Her daughter here assisted her into healing school today. And during the ministration, Mama has walked unaided and is here walking to and fro on her own. Glory be to God. Her daughter here is here to testify. It's a creative 
testimony. When God's servant called for those that had miracles and testimonies, he came out. He shared something with me. He said he had what we call cryptocurtism, undescended thesis. So the first question I asked him, how many children do you have? Because if the thesis is undescended for at, at this age, he's not going to have any uh, children because where the thesis is now located is too hot for it to produce the seed required for childbearing. So he said he have had that problem that way. Sometimes if you have had a child or not, we could not have ruled that it was there. So he said he has felt it. So I, because of medical practice, I had to send him back. I said, please go and check yourself and come back and be sure. So he came and shared with the doctors that he has checked himself. He has seen that that thesis that was undescended is now descended in the absence of a surgery. That's a miracle. This man has had a mass on his head, something we call a lipoma, for almost six months, and it has been growing recurrently. But while God's servant was ministering, the power of God touched him. Instantly, the mass disappeared and is made whole. Mama here for over 20 years has been living with bilateral knee osteoarthritis. That is, she had severe pain in both knees. In fact, she had had a knee replacement, but the knee pain persisted. That mama had to walk with this walking aid. She could only stand and walk with this walking aid. Right here in this service, mama has been standing. She had walked and no pain. The pain is totally gone. Mama is healed. This is a seven-year-old child, and this is the mother. She acknowledges that when she was born, at about a week, she had convulsions, and obviously she had complications from her body. The mother acknowledges that she had paralysis, that is flaccid paralysis on the right side of the body, meaning that she cannot move, there's no power on the right side. And as such, movement and other activities are difficult. But for the first time in seven years, the deformity is still there, but there is power now in the hand, as she can raise up their hands. I asked her to shake me. She can now shake me. Hello. She can now shake me. She couldn't do that before. Can you raise up your leg? She couldn't do that before. Raise up your right leg. She can now do that. There is power now in the Jesus land. Are Jesus a hand? Child, God would, that has begun a good work, perfect it. How are you, baby? You're fine? Lord, give strength to our legs. Give strength to our hands. In the name of Jesus, let strength enter the hand. Just follow me. Lift it up like that. Just lift it up. 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 Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Lift it up again. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up. Take, 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 just take your hand up. Do like this. Do like this. Look at me. Look at me. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this. Don't lie before. Don't lie. That, Don't she lie. has not done that before. She, she has never done. done this. Was she the has first. not done that before. Her chest pain, palpitation, that's awareness of one's heartbeat, and deep snare, that's difficulty in breathing, is usually suggestive of a cardiac pathology, heart failure. He came into this meeting expectant. While the administration was going on, all symptoms vanished. He Three years ago, this woman developed what we call somatiform disorder. Now, somatiform disorder is the abnormal movement of objects within the body. Unexplainable. It's a psychological presentation. She said in her case, it seems as if something is kicking in her abdomen. Three years period. Now, she requires attention of a psychologist or a psychiatrist to solve that problem. But as she entered this place for this healing school, as God's servant was ministering, the God that knows every part of the human body went straight, touched her. She said the symptom that she had had for three years is no longer there. This young lady said she had a fracture of the femur. That is the long bone of the thigh. And as a result of the fracture of the femur, she had an orthopedic surgery where they did a surgery. They had to put implants. If you look at this picture, you see the implants and different screws in it to keep the bone together. After the surgery, she said she had difficulties, severe pain. And when she went back to the hospital, they said that one of the screws here 
have fallen off. It's broken. And that is a severe complication. Since then, she has been in excruciating pain. When you have, when people come down with pain of the bone, there is no how to soothe it. There is nowhere to touch to soothe the pain. It is very excruciating. And as a result of that, she is bid for a repeat surgery. But she has come to this meeting for the first time. All the pain she has been feeling, all the complication, she couldn't stamp her leg without pain. She couldn't walk without walking aid. She's walking without walking aid. All the pain Give is completely Jesus gone. Church Mama here was diagnosed of glaucoma two ah. years ago. Sit down, everybody. Glaucoma is an eye disease we call a silent thief of the eye. If it comes, it silently comes and takes your sight away and you cannot recover. Now Mama had glaucoma and eventually got blind a year ago. She has constantly been aided by her son. In fact, she came here a blind woman. Now, during the ministration, the power of God touched her. Mama can now see. That is not all. She was not recognizing people. But when we were talking to her, the healing kept progressing. She could recognize our unit member and say, this girl is from my community. And right there, she could count fingers. Before we know it, from, a meet, from six meters, she can tell you exactly what she's seen. She's seen perfectly. Please come and show us. Mama, what are those fingers? Let, let give her the microphone. Please, please, give camera, her, come give on Give her the microphone. They give the two of them the microphone. Four, two. That's our daughter. Okay, the medical team. She's from my community. She's from so your she community. She recognized me as soon as she saw me. Mama, she came totally blind? Yes, sir. You came totally blind? Yes, sir. What are they wear? White. <laughs> <laughs> Will you give Jesus a hand?